<laughs> hey boys, how's it going? I mentioned in a previous episode that I need to lose some weight for my wedding in three months time. So, with that in mind, I've been to a local gym and I've signed up and I start on the 1st of August. There's only so much you can do with dumbbells. In the past I used to be really into weightlifting and exercise, so it should be like going to see an old friend. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I used to be able to bench press my own weight, so hopefully I can reach that awesome milestone once again. Another reason for losing weight is that I've gotten to the point in my career that I just don't have the time to market and promote my mind reading app. So I'm strongly considering getting an agent or manager to take care of the promotional side of the mind reading. Whilst my act is one of the most amazing mind reading acts in the entire world, I'm more likely to get on the books of a good agent if the first thing he or she thinks isn't. Oh, and talking of the past, in the past of this episode, made me go and check my computer for some old photographs, and I found a couple of funny ones that I want to share with you. Here in this photo, you can see that I'm sporting the timeless white guy with dreadlocks look held back with a very hippie style headband. You can also see the lip piercing that I'm sporting, very dapper. The Mark Paul style soul patch adds a frisson of avant-garde jazz movement. The orange t-shirt just screams individuality, which is also known as bad taste. The cool shade indoors in one of the least sunny places in the world lets everyone know that I don't mind bumping into things. Whilst this photo from the past should be entitled, I might be a psychologist, but I'm a cool mother hubbard. The trendy beard suggests that I'm funky, whilst the fact that it remains untrimmed suggests a hint of rebellion. Go Che Guevara. This shot predates the emo movement that has every Tom, Dick and Harry posing like this, but in my day, this shot was edgy and new. I may even have started emo. One of the ways that I'm going to get back into shape is to stop eating all of the KFC Double Down Luther sandwiches. That means I've got to start eating healthily. Luckily for me, Jenny and I earlier this year constructed a waist-high vegetable patch so that we can grow our own produce. So we've got some parsley, some leeks. We've got something there that I don't know what it is, but we've also got some butternut squash some mange too and peas at the back we've got beets here and we've got some lettuce there and some rocket perfect for salads some dill there that tastes wonderful it tastes like uh, gherkins when you put it on beef burgers we've got basil and I think some thyme under there then we've got peppers starting off there and then we've got courgettes look at those courgette flowers aren't they gorgeous and there's a, a courgette right at the back there. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's all yum. Being a vegetarian for most of my life, I've always found that I've had to eat a lot of vegetables. But there's something really satisfying about growing, nurturing, and then eating something that you've loved. I guess it's a good job that I only eat vegetables. Foyers, it's Thursday, so it's time to create the weird weekly question. Look, by now you know where to leave it, so put a question there. Oh, and remember... Oh. Remember, voyeurs, keep it real. Hey, there's a cool cat in town. Here's my reading theme, won't get you down. He'll make you dance all day, make you party all night. He will show you how to move through the night. He's Paul, Paul. the coolest cat. A real cool cat, a real cool cat, he's Paul, Paul, the coolest cat.